What's going on everyone? Welcome to Box Attack. I'm Dom and today we are checking out my 10 inch pop collection. You can see I'm in a different space actually. This is my home office and I'm going to give you a little tour of that as well along with my filming setup downstairs where I'm filming at for the meanwhile while we're going through all the things that we're going through. So be sure to join the Box Attack Universe Facebook group. That link is in the description for you and without any further delay, let's get started. All right, so here is like an entire look at the little office room up here. Like this is like uh, the space I edit over there and there's a TV up here and stuff. So uh, over the side, actually, uh, there's some microphones here that I use for recording things. And I have my pin board. If you haven't seen my pin board, well, it's, uh, it's pretty big. If you notice any pins, if you recognize any, drop them in the comment section below. But that is my pin board. And you can see I have uh, this little uh, Hulk uh, smashing Loki pop right here from when New York Comic Con 2018 and uh, and then I have a TV right here whatever nothing special I do have a lot of my Jim Lee pops down here at the bottom I actually have all of the Jim Lee pops <laughs> uh, down here the ones that came with the t-shirts and the ones that were sold individually I have the black and white ones uh, that came with the t-shirts here and then we have the color versions and I have them all kind of lined up down here along with a lot of uh, Batman uh, movie and comic moments or whatever like this one right here with the light up bat signal pretty cool um, so I, I also do have the uh, Ghostbusters vehicle right here and well <laughs> this is part of my 10 inch pop collection. So this isn't everything. You can see we have Thanos, the Thing, Venomized Groot, another Thanos. We have the Demogorgon, Ant-Man. We have the Kool-Aid Man, the Rainbow Troll. Thumbs up for Rainbow Troll life. I do have two Deadpools right here and a little Deadpool uh, Marvel Legends figure as you can see right there. And then we have uh, the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man and um, we have, uh, I can't remember, Ezra from uh, the Haunted Mansion, if I'm, I don't know, whatever, if I'm wrong. I'm kind of rushing through this, but we also do have uh, the Joker right here and the nine inch Batman um, that is uh, kind of uh, the chase version, the rare of the two. This is a very older one. And then I have my Batman pop pin right there as well. And then on the bottom shelf, we have uh, Toothless and we have uh, the uh, uh, Mega Tiger Zord, I can't remember the name, I'm drawing blanks you guys. Actually I think this is the Ultra Dino, is it the Ultra Dino Megazord or Ultra Megazord? I, I'm drawing a blank. Uh, and then we have Hulk and another Deadpool. Uh, that's Power Rangers obviously. But yeah, you can see here all of these at the bottom and then we'll move up. I do have that Pop Town right there. And who remembers this old school Batman cereal with the piggy bank? That right there is awesome. I do have a Catwoman statue back here as well, which is pretty dope. And then again on this shelf and up here. And then we have up here. So these are all the 10 inch pops that I have uh, in this room up here. I will show you more. I do have a Philips Hue light strip. Uh, it's actually meant for outdoors, but I run it along the base of the wall right here. Just kind of add some ambiance and another hue uh, light right there on the floor. And then here, this is like my workstation. So when I'm editing at home, this is where like a lot of stuff happens. Um, I have a couple of big monitor speakers right here. This is an iMac Pro. Um, I do have the uh, uh, Universal Audio Aero interface. And then uh, we have the uh, mini, uh, Arturia Mini Lab keyboard right here because I do, I do a lot of audio production as well. And, uh, and then this Korg pad controller right here, which is one of my favorites. I have an iPad Pro. You can see I have quite a few Thanos pops on here too. So we have Marvel Collector Core box. We have that guy. Uh, we have the PX Previews Thanos. And then I have a Thanos pop pin right there as well, which is pretty cool. And then on top of the speaker, I have the Batmobile Batman. And then this other one, this classic one, I think was San Diego Comic-Con 2018 or something, maybe Emerald City Comic-Con, I can't remember which one it was. Let me know in the comment section below. I do have some artwork up here too. Um, fun fact, I painted that. Um, I have this Deadpool poster. I have this awesome Wonder Woman Tampa Bay Comic-Con 
um, poster that I got from a viewer, Hen Dog. Shout out to Hen Dog. And then I have this really cool Spider Man Black Panther um, print right here as well. So just some artwork to kind of lighten up the space. Uh, there's a guitar right there. And then I have a table and a chair. So I mean, it's pretty, pretty simple as you can see, just a, a very simple setup going on up here uh, where I do most of my work. And, uh, and then of course this desk. This desk is from Ikea, by the way. It's a tabletop with a couple of legs underneath it. And this chair is from Ikea as well. So got all this stuff up here. And uh, well, there's a lot of other stuff to explore downstairs, my other 10 inch pops and uh, also the filming setup. But yeah, shout out to the pin board, 10 inch pops, hen dog for the cool Wonder Woman poster. And this is my production setup. So if you want to know more about like my audio production and stuff like that, be sure to leave this video a thumbs up because I do a ton, a ton of it. <laughs> a lot, lot more that, than you guys probably even realize. But yeah, let's, uh, let's go ahead and take a look downstairs. All right, so now we're downstairs and I have a bookshelf full of a lot of other 10 inch pops as you can see. Um, we do have the Green Goblin right here and the metallic Indiana Jones from Emerald City Comic Con. You see the Hulk versus Hulkbuster like hiding way back there, as well as this one from the Marvel Collector Core box, uh, which I, I love. Uh, this is the Mark V suit, one of my favorites for sure. I do have these Mickey pops right here, black and white. The uh, uh, we have the Target exclusive and this uh, Funko Shop exclusive from way back in the day. And then these are the two tiny ghosts. I actually showed you guys these not too long ago, these glow in the dark ones, as well as that one that doesn't glow in the dark. Uh, right below that, I do have some ad icons, Target Dog, Frankenberry, and the Coca-Cola Bear, which I just think looks really cool. It's got like a ton of detail on it. Even this little cap just has like the little ridges around the bottle cap on it. It's really, really cool. So. Uh, shout out to the ad icons and then more ad icons down here. We got Tony, Captain Crunch, Bob's Big Boy, and then the Pokemon. Uh, I'm missing one of the 10 inch Pokemons. I'm missing uh, Bulbasaur, uh, but whatever. I, these are like the, these are the big four right here. And then I have some, there's some pops over here that I haven't kind of put away yet. But yeah, this is the bookshelf downstairs that packs all of my other 10 inch pops and uh, if you can guess which 10 inch pop I don't have at my house, there's only one that I don't have here. If you can guess that you win an internet cookie, um, definitely drop a comment below if you know which one I have that is not at my house. Next up, this is the filming setup that I have been using. Um, I do have my main camera uh, right here. This is the Canon C200 is what I use for like the front angle camera. I do have a light on top of there shining down onto the table right here. Um, I do have my other camera up here, which is the A6400, and that is on this huge like tripod. I've rigged, rigged a bunch of stuff to get my overhead camera right here because I don't have the big stand that I use at my office. And a lot of you, let's let's address the elephant in the room: the green screen, right? Um, so this is the whole setup. I have one, two, three, four, five, six lights lighting this setup because it does take quite a bit of light to get a, a good green screen key and, and that's what it's called when you actually um, take the background out. But you can see all these lights right here. It actually gets kind of bright in, in this little area. So this is what I've been filming on lately and I know it's a little bit weird and different but a green screen gives me the flexibility to you know, put whatever I want there and give you guys a comfortable environment. Like you're noted, you're used to seeing my office background and stuff. And I just wanted to make it as seamless as possible. I am using my coffee table um, for a table. Like I, I literally, I don't have a table over there because my coffee table is, is right here. Um, so that's, that's where this comes from. And I actually have it on some like, product boxes to raise it up a little bit because it just wasn't quite high enough in the in the shot on the camera right here. Uh, and then I have some cables taped down. So all of this is kind of like a rigged little setup uh, for the meanwhile, just so I can bring you guys, you know, as high quality content as possible because that is definitely important to me. I do have my microphone up here as well on a boom stand. And yeah, so like the green screen, I mean, it, this is, this is what you can do with it. I can put my background right on there and like just basically put whatever I want on there. I guess I could kind of go in here and snap whatever I wanted to onto the background here because, well, I mean, it's, you know, 
it's a green screen, so I could do unboxing videos in outer space if I wanted to technically, <laughs> but, but yeah, this is where I've been shooting at the entire time. I did forget one thing that I wanted to show you guys, and that is over here, my 19 inch Batman is right here in the corner along with his little, uh, his little four inch twin. So we have the 19 inch Batman and the little Batman right there. And uh, I do have uh, some vinyl figures right here, like these little balloon dogs. Um, and I have another tiny ghost right there as well. But yeah, this is the 10 inch collection. Um, you saw the other uh, 10 inch collection up there. And uh, that, that's pretty much the whole tour aside from, you know, this, this whole little filming setup that I got into as well, um, which, uh, you know, thumbs up if you appreciate all of this because it, it definitely is a lot of work. So I know this is a bit of like a down and dirty kind of video where I'm just giving you a tour of things, but I wanted to show you how I've been managing here over the last few weeks. This is kind of what I've been dealing with. I've been shooting, I've been editing here at home instead of at the office. I've been shooting on the green screen downstairs. I mean, some of you have noticed, I don't care. Like, I think it looks good for what it is, to be honest. And, and for me, it just retains that like, like kind of normal look of my channel. I don't want to sacrifice in quality. And I thought that that personally was the best way for me to do that. So with that being said, this is, uh, this is everything. I don't know, let me know what you think down in the comment section below, which of the 10 inch pops that I showed you is your favorite. Drop a comment down below. Big shout out to everybody over on Patreon, part of the Box Attack Army. I send them pops out of my personal collection every single month. So definitely be sure to check that out. Linked in the description as well as a link to the Box Attack Universe Facebook group, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video. Bunch of cool things happening there. Nice community, so many active members. Thank you guys so much for making that group so awesome. I really do appreciate it. But as always, once again, this has been Box Attack. I'm Dom and we'll catch you later.